I got two of those wonderful mini TS-80 soldering irons, one for work and one for home, and on one of them the OLED display became dimmer and dimmer to the point where it failed completely. The iron itself is obviously still working, as you can see here on this thermal image uh, that I reviewed recently. Well, it only goes up to 100 degrees. So what I did was I contacted uh, Mini Support and they sent me a replacement OLED for five US dollars plus five dollars shipping. So all in all, that replacement OLED cost me uh, like ten dollars. I'm sure that can be had somewhere cheaper. If you know where to find it, uh, post it in the show notes. I'm really careful not to touch it with my greasy paws because that will make soldering a lot easier later on in the process. So let's see how this thing comes apart. Well, on the on the back side there's a screw. Let's take that one out and see if that will lead us anywhere. Does not really seem so. Oh, let's have another look. There might be might be another screw hidden somewhere. Let's see what's covered under here. No, nothing. Okay, so I presume the only other way is somewhere under that plastic cover. You can see the where, where it comes apart, so the screw might be under that plastic cover. Let's see if I can get that off. No, I can't. So let's call in the Swiss army to the rescue and see if they can work out a solution. Okay, okay. Yeah, here he comes. Now let's see what's underneath. And there you have it. There's a screw down here. I'll show you. Yeah. That should get us into the solder in no t soldering iron in no time at all. Now oh, that should lift off easily. I can see where it comes apart. Ah, yeah, there we go. Very good. And there's this older display, and it's stuck to the PCB with a sort of sticky foam block. I'll, I'll lever that off carefully. I mean, it doesn't really matter. The, the, the OLED's broken anyway, but yeah, no, no need to rush things. I'll take off that sticky. It's terribly sticky. This sticks to everything. Now let's see. Obviously the contacts are identical and it's soldered. There's no connector there. So we got to solder this right onto the PCB. First thing to try is let's see if you can just take it off with a soldering iron. Right, that should do it. I'm at 340 degrees, so that should be sufficient. But that didn't work, so I'll try some flux. See if that makes it any better. Well, it does make it more smelly, but it still won't come off. So let's try some hot air instead. And strangely enough, still no luck. So there's only one way to go, and that is my secret weapon if I have 
problems getting stuff off a PCB and that's chip quick low melt solder and you only need a tiny bit like a fraction of this uh, little bit there and it, it comes off right away does not even take a minute uh, unfortunately I totally screwed up the camera angle here so I spared no expense uh, to create a lifelike simulation of what the process is so I apply some flux to the to the contacts on the PCB. I re-tin uh, uh, the contacts and carefully line up the OLED display on the on the connectors. Uh, I attach it on one side; uh, the other side still free, and then I sort of work it out from from the middle. So uh, while the one side uh, makes sure the orientation is right the other one can be fixed properly so that was that and if I apply power here you'll see that it apparently does come on right away so there's no obvious flaws visible here at the moment that means I can reassemble the whole thing which of course is totally easy. You can get this foam block to stick properly. I'll take off the protective cover here. So that should be a nice and clean job. Easy enough. Put put the screw back in. Sorry, wrong bit. Oh, that's a lot better. That should fit right back to where it belongs. Yep, still gives a nice tactile feedback. So, see if that works as expected. It's, it's still on, on, on right-handed mode. Uh, as you might have noticed, I'm, I'm left-handed, so I, I can turn the, the display around so it supports left-handed text. It's up nicely. I can't see any failed pixels. Image is nice and bright on the on the OLED. I suppose that's a winner. Okay, no problem at all. So I do, as I said, take one of those to work with me, and also I'm head of IT department. I still sometimes do a little soldering for my more or less personal pleasure and uh, I, I carry that around in this little pouch from from mini along with the uh, with, with this tiny stand I'll I'll link uh, to some of those in the in the show notes down there uh, what I also need for that is that I usually take a, a QC3 USB power bank. I've got, got a rather big one from from Xiaomi. Uh, it's well, this one is with the orange sleeve here. So with all that, you're good to go.